Hi there, hope you're all doing well. I am back with a War Mage from Titan Force Miniatures. With the release of the Old World getting closer and closer, it's time to start planning out the color schemes for some of the armies I'm going to have. This guy is going to be one of the leaders for my Empire Forces. He was black and white zenithal primed and I get started with Berserker Red for the middle layer of robes. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also join Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. Next up, the remaining robes all get done with reddish grey as the base layer. To add shadows, I washed everything with dark tone wash. With the wash dry, I get started pushing those red robes to where I want them to be. Starting off, I go back over with the majority of the robes again using Berserker Red, just leaving those darker parts in the shadows and the recesses. To start brightening up the red, I used gory red and built up all of the raised parts of the folds. Working my way up into the center of the folds, now I used flat red. The aim is to build up a bit of a soft gradient towards the center of the folds from the inside recesses.
Finishing off the highlights on the red, I grabbed Demon Red and just done the very center of the folds. Now that the red is finished, I get started bringing the grey back up with reddish grey, just leaving that wash in the recesses. To begin brightening up the robes, I used warm grey on all of the raised parts of the folds. Finally, I went with rock grey just to finish off the highlights on all of those raised areas. With the bulk of the mini now finished, I get started on the exposed skin with a base coat of dwarven skin. For his majestic wizard beard, I had to go with silver grey as the base layer. Now for the longest part of this mini, I go over all of the parts I want to look gold with British khaki. Normally this would be an undercoat for actual gold paint, but I feel like trying out non-metallic metal again, so I'm going to use this as the base layer.
For the larger parts of gold, the skin and his beard, I washed them with flesh wash from Army Painter. Bringing the white back up into the beard, I used the white star to bring up all of the raised strands. Since I was being a bit of a tryhard with this mini, I grabbed dwarven skin and brought up all of the raised parts of the face and the majority of the arms and hands again. Finishing the skin, all the very tips of the raised parts get a quick once over with oven skin. The orb he is holding needed to contrast with the bulk of the mini, so I used ethereal green for all of these as well as some of the details on the mini. Just to bring up the green a little bit more, I used light green as a highlight. To start adding the gold effect, I used golden brown to add some parts of the gold that I thought would be catching the light, such as the tops of the folds on the robe. The next step for the gold was to grab Skulker Yellow and add a smaller highlight inside the previous brown highlight I've just done. Finishing the gold off, I used AK Interactive Sand Yellow for a final highlight inside Skulker Yellow.
I didn't want the base to draw too much attention, so I just done it once over with burnt umber. For a little variation, I washed the base with flesh wash. And that will be it for the war mage. I did end up changing the base in the end just to add some flocking so it looks a bit more like he's standing on a grassy field. I'm not too sure about the gold on his staff but I really like how it came out on the trim so we'll probably be doing this more often. If you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also join discord in the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. As always you can get a closer look at this mini on my Instagram page. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Most importantly though be kind to each other.